Hi everybody, this is No Touchy with Touchy Gaming. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. Today I just wanted to go over really quickly how you can install Pokemon VR on an Android device. So people who don't have a PC and you can't side quest it over, this is an easy alternative. It should just run through pretty quickly in a few minutes and show you the step-by-step -step process just to get it all over. Keep in mind this only works on an Android device, so it will not work on iPhone. All right, so you're going to need two things to do this. You're going to need Bug Jaeger Mobile ADB. It is an app you get in the Google Play Store. And then you will also need a wire, some kind of cable, to connect to your Quest 2 to your phone. I'm just using a USB-C to USB-C. Once you've downloaded this app from the App Store, it's going to open up and you're going to have to agree to the terms for it. Um, you're going to go into it and you're going to start off by going through everything to connect it to your Quest 2. So once it's connected, it's going to pop up these little images here. You're going to have to agree to it, and then you're also going to have to agree to the connection on the Quest 2. So you'll have to make sure you have kind of both on at the same time. Once everything's all connected, you will see up here it says it is connected to device Hollywood there. That seems to be the normal device for this. Once connected, you're going to go over to the little folder tab. That's your Files tab. I would find a nice easy file inside the storage there so you can place your APK file of the Pokemon VR into. So once you've decided whichever one you're going to select, I just went with my little downloads file here. And then I brought my Pokemon VR APK and I just put it in there. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that other APK in that Pokemon VR out of there. So once you're just sitting here in your file, you're just going to go ahead and hit that little download button there up at the top run through your files I went into my download here's my APK for it hit select and then you're going to push it onto the device so that's just saving it into that file on the device so give that just a few minutes to do its thing there two thousand years later once you've got your file into your folder, you're going to want to scroll over in your icons up here and click on this little screen looking icon. This is going to pull up your packages. Now you're going to hit that plus symbol up here by the search bar there, and that's going to pull up an install APK selection. Hit OK. It should auto find whichever APK you have downloaded in there. Select it, and now this is going to actually install it onto your Quest device. So once this runs through its thing, you will now have it posted onto your Quest device. It'll be installed. A few moments later. Once you're done running that through to it, um, you can go back into your quest and see that's installed. So right here I'm showing you it hasn't quite installed yet. So I checked it right before finishing the installation onto the app. So now I'm running that through. Give it a second here. Now that's finished installing, when you go into your unknown uh, applications there, you will see Pokemon VR is installed, and now you can launch it and run into the Pokemon VR. Uh, one thing I just want to mention, you want to make sure you have the right APK installed, so I will put a link for the Discord where you can get it, and you can also get it on the PokemonVRGuide.com website. Once you're in there, go ahead and just take a look up there on the right of the screen there, after you allow your permissions and everything here. Um, it should show you the server you're connecting to. You just want to make sure it doesn't show a bunch of nines or anything. It has an actual IP. And as long as that's good, you're all set. Just create a username and a password. As long as it's not already created as a username and password, you now have a Pokemon VR account and you can play with everyone else. Well, I just want to thank you guys all for watching. I mean, feel free to go ahead and like and subscribe if you found this video useful. With this, you'll be able to play in Pokemon VR if you just have an Android device. I will be making a video also just for the quick side load from SideQuest. If you have any questions, please go ahead and join the Discord, or you can also check the website, PokemonVRGuide.com. I put it together. It's got a full spawn list and everything, and I hope you guys have a fun out here playing it, and don't forget to catch lots of shinies, everyone. I want to be the very best, like no one ever was.